Hello, Horror DNA viewers, and welcome to another edition of What's in the Bag Box. So since it is the bag, you know it's Nightworms, uh, the uh, book company. Again, I forgot the price. I'll put all that stuff down below. Um, and if you... I have another one going up. Uh, November was late. This is December's. Uh, November is still to be posted shortly. It might be posted by the time this goes up. Who knows? So anywho, Nightworms, book, mystery book package company. Um, I know what's in this one because of reasons I don't want to get into. Um, I, I like the surprise, but this one, I found out at least one of the books, at least one, uh, I found out early, which is understandable the reason I found out. Uh, I'm on a mailing list more or less, but anywho, let's get down to it. As you can see, one thing I, I always constantly mention is the packaging, because when it comes to these, packaging is important. You have one bubble wrap, which is the USPS, and you got the other bubble wrap. Again, and as always, if you get a package with a gold star, make sure to go to um, the Nightworms website. I'll put that link below also. Figure out how to contact them because gold star not only means I'm a good boy, uh, it means you won something or you got something extra or however it works. So love this company. Absolutely love this company. Um, I don't know. I always hate cutting this open because it is books. Um, and I don't want to cut anything. There we go. Okay, so hopefully I can pull out the one that I know what it is first to get that out of the way. Doesn't matter. I know it's in there. So let's see what's in the deal. We got... That's the tchotchke bag. We got one book, two book, three books, and something weirdly shaped. I'm going to save that for last because I have no idea what that is. Might be four, but I don't know. I can't... It, 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 Counting past three is, is tough sometimes. Gee, George, you're real smart, aren't you, George? So, that's four. Maybe four. Here's the first one. <gasps> nice. This one's Where the Dead Go to Die by Aaron Dries or Dries and Mark Allen Gunnels. Um, I actually have this on Kindle. and uh, But you know what? I will take the hard uh, paperback version. Um... Is this, it is, it's Crystal Lake Publishing, and Crystal Lake puts out a lot of great stuff. I have a lot of their books. I just buy and buy and buy, but they're, they're very consistent. Um, let's see. Uh, there are monsters in this world, and they used to be us. Now it's time to euthanize to survive in a hospice where Emily, a woman haunted by her past, only wants to do her job and be the best mother possible. Euthanize to survive. I kind of like that. Uh, we need to euthanize more people. Uh, Post-infection Chicago, Christmas. Oh, a nice little Christmas horror novel. Inside the hospice, Emily and her fellow nurses do their rounds. Here, men and women live out their final days in comfort, segregated from society, and are, and are then humanly terminated before fate turns them into marrow craving monsters known as smilers. Outside these imposing walls, rapid protesters swarm with signs, caught up with the heat of their hatred. This emotional political novel comes from two of horror's freshest voices and puts a new spin on the eternal topic, the undead. In the spirit of George A. Romero meets Jack Ketchum, Where the Dead Go to Die is an unforgettable epilogue to the zombie genre, one that will leave you shaken and questioning right from wrong even when it's only right left. It won't be long before that snow speckled ground will be salted by blood. I had blind bought this. Um, zombie, zombie genre for me is tough right now. It's very hard for me to get into a zombie book. Everybody says mine's different. Okay. Um, but I do like the, uh, and I'm not just saying this because I want, to, I want to read this. I do like the idea of this uh, old people zombies. Kind of nice. So, Where the Dead Go to Die, Aaron Dries and Mark Allen Gunnels. And this is a beautiful cover too. I love this cover. Let's see what we have next. So we got one, two, three more books left. This is Crazy Town, $39.99. And you get a, I got a discount when I subscribed and saved. Um, so I don't know if they still do that, but I'll put that in the bottom. Okay, this is the one I knew about. Waiting Out Winter by Kelly Owen. I really like Kelly Owen's work. Um, I started with... I want to call it The Notebook, but it, that's not the real title. Um, it's called Deceiver. That was the, I think that might have been the, one of the first books I read by her. And, and, uh, and then I read um, Teeth. Uh, was it Teeth? Oh, my God. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm on the 
I'm on the spot now. Um, uh, the Wilting Lilies series, um, uh, Waiting Out Winter, which is this right here. This is I've actually read this. This is really good. Uh, it's about bugs and stuff. Teeth is good. I just read another one. With, uh, the Wilted Lilies, and I cannot remember the sequel, but I just reviewed it. I'll maybe I'll put those links in there if I remember. Anyway, Kelly owns a rock star. I really like her work. <laughs> this one is Nick and the Boys return from the summer's last hunting trip to find the streets empty, the beachfront and park abandoned, and the windows of their own homes boarded shut. The hunters have become the hunted in a, an apocalyptic plague that pits man against beast. Very tiny beasts. And Nick is determined to keep his strength, courage, and family alive during what could be uh, very well the last winter of their lives. Look, I can't say enough about Kelly Owen's work. Um, like I said, she's consistent. Everything I would has been a delight, including this. Uh, I don't believe, I, I don't know if I have a paperback version of this already. And if I do, look for a contest. If I don't, you're on your own. Uh, that's a good one. That's a winner. Let's see what else we got. Let's do another one. Oof. Oh, man. Beneath Ash and Bone by D. Alexander Ward. Um, by From Bedlam Press, an imprint of uh, Necro. And this is, I think, Kelly, I can't remember her publishing company uh, who put it out. But Gypsy Press, Gypsy Press. That's, that's Kelly's company, if I'm not mistaken. Um... I've heard of this one too. I haven't read it. Uh, but Ronald Malfi of Bone White, which is really good, says engaging, resonant, smart, and downright goddamn terrifying. Uh, Malfi's a, a good writer, a great writer on his own. So if he says it, well, we'll have to see what's going on here. Seaburn, Virginia, a quiet backwater town nestled among the Blue Ridge Mountains in the days before the Civil War. Sam Locke, that's a cool name. Sam Locke keeps the place as the town sheriff, like his father before him. That piece is shattered during a raging winter storm when a boy goes missing at Everbore, the sprawling estate of Horace Crownhill and his family. Racing against time and the elements, Sam must mount a desperate search for the child. But what he finds in the snow and the dark halls of Evermore are madness and murder. <laughs> As Sam searches for truth in a house poisoned by mysteries and haunted by ghosts, he hopes to weather the storm, but the heroine's secrets he encounters may prove too terrible to bear. Will he escape with his insanity intact, or will the dark presence rumored to hold sway over evermore claim him as another sacrifice? Every family has secrets. Listen, I'm seeing a theme. I'm seeing a theme. Uh, this is winter. This is waiting out winter. It takes place in winter, so... Looks like we have our winter reading for horror, and I think we have one more. Maybe that maybe I can't count. There was three. Nope, there's four. There's four. There we go. Jimmy the Freak by Charles Charles Colliot and Mark Steensland. I don't know. I'm not familiar with this, but it's Bloodshot Books, and I have a lot of books from Bloodshot Books. They do very. Uh, they publish a lot of great stuff too. I believe the guy who runs it is Pete. Um, uh, so, Jimmy the Freak. Thanks to being dropped on... <laughs> flashback. Thanks to being dropped on his head when he was a baby, Jimmy is now both mentally disabled and psychic. This has made him the perfect tar target for abuse by those who would exploit his wild talent for their own power and glory. Disgusted by his part in the game, Jimmy's bodyguard, Mike, takes him on the run. But Mike's boss isn't the sort to let a meal ticket go easily, so he dispatches a brutal hitman named Ash to hunt them down and bring Jimmy back to work. Winding through a snow-covered landscape of back alleys, cheap motels, and strip clubs, sounds like my neighborhood, Mike must fight his own personal demons while desperately trying to keep Jimmy free. Another winter book. Uh, again, I'm not familiar with this, but hey, sounds fun. Okay, now let's get to the tchotchkes, where our winter theme, and, 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 and the paper in here will tell me what the uh, theme is called. Actually, let me go do this big thing first. Oh, this is fantastic, too. I had no idea this was coming. Bones Coffee, French Vanilla. I've been wanting to try Bones Coffee for a long time now. Thank you, Nightworms. You, mm, the This, I think this right here probably goes for about 12 bucks on its own so this is fantastic i know what i'm going to be uh making tomorrow 
That's going home with me. I mean, I'm at my house, whatever. Okay, so let's get to the bag of tchotchkes of, usually this has the stickers and the uh, bookmarks and such. It's like, it's like, you know what it's like? You know what this is like? This is like, and I still do this now. I don't even want to say when you're a kid because I still enjoy doing this now. When you unwrap all of your presents underneath the tree and then, oh yeah, the stocking. Because the stocking still kicks ass. It might not contain the awesome presents that are right here, but you know what? It's got the candy and stuff in it to feed my fat face. So this is what we're going to do at. So first one is a magnet of a little bloody snowman and a little shaky shake thing, a uh, snow globe. I can't see what that says because I'm, I have old man eyes. It says something. And a little sticker for Bones Coffee Company. This is really, I'm very excited about this. Bloodshot Books, go ahead and look them up. Give them a follow. Um, I do like uh, what they put out. Same, same with Crystal Lake. Um, and, and definitely Nightworms too. So uh, they, Bloodshot, right on. Oh, a cool little Halloween sticker that is Christmassy at the same time of, of a witch with flying skeletons. That's pretty cool. Okay. Alan Baxter served cold. Um, Alan Baxter I've heard a lot about, but I haven't had the pleasure of reading yet, but he's definitely one on my list. And this theme is called Winter White, Winter Fright, December 2019. So, uh, the bookish tin, engraved wood marks. I guess those are wooden bookmarks. Uh, that's got a discount code that if you don't get, you might have seen it. I don't care. You don't get it. Mine. Uh, oh my God, they put one in there. Okay. So, this is a bookish tin, engraved wood mark. Oh, wow, that's really nice. It's thin, like, it's thin like um, balsa wood, but it's clearly not balsa wood because you can't, you know, balsa wood bend it already. That's actually really, really nice. It's engraved. I'm not going to remove that from the, uh, I'm not going to remove it from the plastic because it's collectible. Like my action figures at home, their action figures are not toys. Uh, we got the bookmark by Kelly Owen, which has little flies on it. That's a really nice bookmark. I like it when the authors design their, not bookmark, I'm sorry, book plate. I like when authors design the, have a little design on the book plate and stuff, put it on a sticker. This feels like candy. It's a peppermint stick. Uh, that's a peppermint stick. I'm going to eat that. It's a peppermint stick to share. I'm going to eat that one too. And a little pin for Devouring Dark. I don't know what that is. I'm, uh, maybe it's a, a publishing company too. I'm not sure. But that is actually a really cool looking logo. I think we're done. Again, I cannot quit Nightworms. They are so wonderful. Um, three books, probably $12 or more on the coffee, uh, a cool ass wooden bookmark, some other tchotchkes, $39.99, four books. I can't count. See, I've had this past three. It's all done. Um, some stickers. I, I love this. I love this. So four books. That's right there. It's like 10 bucks a book or 12 bucks a book, whatever. I don't even know what these cost anymore. Because uh, I'm mostly Kindle now. But but you know what I'm saying? So your four books off the bat, right there. Everything else is, is bonus. Um, so we're good. Definitely worth the money. Always worth the money. Um, I'll put all the stuff down below. Nightworms. Uh, 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 Bloodshot Press. Um, Crystal Lake Pub. Um, Gypsy Press. All, all great people. All good books. Leave a comment, only if it's nice, because I'm sensitive. I said that before. I only want nice comments on I'm handsome. Or I, I'm doing a really good job. I don't want any negativity, even if it's, even if it's constructive criticism. I don't care, because I want to be perfect. Uh, thank you for watching. I really do appreciate you watching. Uh, do the subscribe stuff. Uh, make me an internet superstar. Uh, I want to be an Instagram model. Next, that's my next thing, so let's make this happen. Um, that's all I have to say about that. I'll see you next time.